welcome to Saturday Shorties! Today we'll be taking a look at the figure from the Spin Master, the Batman toy line. So meet the Penguin! This figure was released in 2022 with all original body parts. And it's a fat guy in a suit. Yeah, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, aren't I? It really brings the wonder and whimsy of Batman's rogue gallery to life, doesn't it? Why is there an action figure of my accountant? We went from the delightful Burgess Meredith version, to the disturbing Danny DeVito version, to... Dave from Human Resources. No, I didn't make this video just to crap on the Batman's Penguin, but it's part of it. Anyway, the figure is well made, the detailing is good, the stripes on the pants are nice, and to be fair, he does look like a classic mobster more than a mid-level manager, so more Tony Soprano and less Michael Scott. The articulation is nearly identical to a G.I. Joe figure, so I won't go into it much, except there's no waist movement, and the upper legs and knees swivel. You know, this toy line was pretty small, so why they included this guy is pretty baffling. Especially since, hey, do you know what character didn't get a figure? The freaking Riddler! I mean, he's only the main antagonist of the movie. You know, the main villain? Why the hell would we want him as an action figure? Especially since he has a unique menacing look, that doesn't make it seem like he should be in a board meeting closing another game studio. Oh, figures of him exist, just not in this scale or toy line. So yeah, this is a lame figure, no reason for it to exist, a total waste of space. And every G.I. Joe collector should buy one. Um, allow me to explain. You see, he came with accessories, and one is so cool it's worth getting the whole damn thing. It's this suitcase, which opens up to reveal a fat stack of cash, and I think it's awesome! It's ideally suited for G.I. Joe dioramas when Cobra Commander has to pay Zartan or Firefly, or Major Blood. Huh, Cobra use a lot of mercenaries, don't they? Anyway, if you collect figures in the 4-inch range and like making dioramas or little sets, you owe it to yourself to get this thing. As for the figure, I don't know, you can give it to a kid you don't like or something, I don't care. Now, I did enjoy dunking on Penguin here, but I want to stress that Spin Master does have an excellent 4-inch line of Batman figures and DC figures in general that work well with G.I. Joe, so make sure to check them out. Well, I'll see you next time, everybody, and hey, why not like, share, and subscribe if that's your thing?